I've been enjoying my time with manga, reading every chance I could get, and burning through it quite quickly. In my recent manga video, I remembered asking my comic book friends for manga recommendations. And to my amazement, you guys blew me away with your passion and knowledge, inspiring me once more to go manga shopping. And so I did. I traveled far and wide. Now that the kooky shopping adventure is over, it's time to show you some of the great manga that I bought. The Fable, The Omnibus, Volume 2, it had so much great humor. It's a hitman on hiatus, it's well said at the back here. Look at that, just brilliant <gasps> artwork as well, just on the back, the front, and obviously the inside. So Katsuhisa Minami is the writer of this, and if you want some awesome action, gorgeous artwork, just a really silly fun time about a hitman that is challenging himself to be a normal person while he's hiding low because he's killed too many people. He's become a little bit too hot when it comes to the underground criminal scene. A pile of manga that you guys have been really convincing me that will improve drastically and perhaps I was a little bit harsh with my initial reaction of reading Chojin X. So I got a few volumes we here. We got volume 2, volume 3, although it's a little bit like wonky and bent. We got volume 4 and 5. Yeah, this is volume 6, but as you can see, it's pretty wonky. Look, I'm very excited to dive deeper into this. You guys have praised this one. You said it gets really good, and I trust you with my heart, my soul, and my wallet that it's really going to improve. You guys have some great experience and knowledge in manga, and I'm very thankful for that, so looking forward to some more Chojin X as the story unravels. Goku Rakugai Volume 2 is up next. Now, this had some beautiful artwork. I was blown away by Yuto Sana and his insane artwork. So I'm looking forward to more of it. A very like feminine and cutesy vibe to the second volume. Loving the design. And let's take a peek. Yep. It's just as fire as the first one. Let me stop being a sting and share some of this gorgeous artwork with you guys. Look at that. I, I landed on these pages here. Look at that. It's just brilliant. Speaking of bangers, Chainsaw Man, that's right. Now, I heard that part two is very different to part one, and some people are a little bit frustrated with part two. I know this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a fun time. It'll probably be very, very different, but I trust the writer that he's really going to deliver on this. You guys have only given praise to Tatsuki Fujimoto for the most part, and you've also given me some recommendations from some of his other works. I'm really thankful for that. Thanks, guys. And Hell yeah, more Chainsaw Man. Let's go. All right, this one here got a lot of mention from you guys. Got a lot of love, and that's dun da dun dun da dun da dun da dun. Some artwork. Don't know what to make of it. Well, actually, I think it's going to be extremely imaginative. Just gathering from the cover. Looks a bit kooky. Looks a bit crazy. But I'm looking forward to it because it has like a billion and one genres in one. And what could go wrong if uh, the mangaka is having a lot of fun, right? It's meant to have like some horror and aliens and romance and comedy. Sign me up. Those sound like they're all really good things. And um, I'm sure they're gonna deliver because you guys have convinced me. Hell's Paradise. The first volume was hella awesome. I didn't know what to think of the protagonist, which is what really hooked me into the story. Because the protagonist was so contrasting. You know, he was like a deadly, scary killer samurai ninja but also at the same time he appeared to have this soft loving spot especially for this one woman that was introduced in the story and i think that's also how much of a range the protagonist has and i think just the setup for the story is very interesting you know them going to this island that apparently they're looking for some elixir of life this has so many things going for it uh i like it there's volume two i got volume three and uh volume four looking forward to continuing that adventure with hell's paradise Fire Punch by Tatsuki Fujimoto. I'm very excited to check this one out to see what his other work looks like. The cover looks great. Actually, let's take a peek at the interior artwork. Whoa, wait, 
Wow, actually, this looks very different. Look at this just for a second, right? It does have some, like, just mild, maybe, chainsaw vibes. But looks very different. I'm surprised that this mangaka has uh, range, you know? His Chainsaw Man artworks look very different to this. That's cool. That's very cool. You know, you don't normally see this kind of stuff in comic books where like the art style just changes drastically even though it's the same artist. One Punch Man and I watched the anime. Loved it. It was so good guys. So I got the first four volumes. This looks like it's just gonna be such a fun time. I wonder how many volumes it will take me uh, to get through until I'm actually up to the anime. Another really really fun one from Shonen Jump and that's Sakamoto Days. You know what? I got the next three volumes, that being 2, 3, and 4. The first volume really impressed me how comedy and action is balanced so well. And when you have the action, it's just out of this world insane. And when you have the comedy, it made me laugh. Genuinely chuckle out loud. And it's not like the characters need to say anything. It's just the pictures themselves. You know, they depict the silliness that is Sakamoto Days. Does it so tastefully. Yuto Suzuki, you rule. But wait, that's not all. I'm gonna give love to the hard covers here. We got the deluxe editions of Vinland Saga volume 2 and 3. The first one was an absolute blast about a Viking going on adventures. Well, a really, really young Viking going on adventures and, you know, a lot of drama. Just beautiful artwork all around. If the build is anything like the first manga, which it looks like it will, then it's gonna be a great time. These are just really, really premium. And I hope we get more of these, you know? Sign me up if they're going to make this a tradition for some top tier manga. What can I say? More hardcovers. We've got volume 2 and 3 of Helsing, the deluxe editions. The first one was just so much fun. The artwork was awesome. The action was pretty crazy. A bloody epic vampire storyline. Werewolves, zombies, you know, it just gets messy. It just gets really fun. These are the Blade of the Immortal deluxe editions. I got the first three. I got them super duper cheap and I couldn't help myself. I've heard really great things about this about an immortal samurai, correct me if I'm wrong, going on some sort of like a vengeance spree with a young lady? That's all I know, I think. I don't know what else to say apart from the artwork really caught my eye. The premise sounds really good. And the reviews have been positive. And it's hard covers, baby. I'm all about that. <laughs> That's right, it is box set 2 and 3 of Naruto. I really, really liked the anime back in the day. Never got to finish it, but now is the time to check it out in the manga format. I now own all three box sets, so hell yeah, this is gonna be a really good time. Apparently, the ending wasn't the greatest, but that's okay. It has some of the greatest world building that comics have to offer. Really, really memorable characters. I'm really gonna enjoy myself, and it's just an absolute pleasure to own all 72 volumes of Naruto. I really wanted to read a lot of manga and I've got it now. I am gonna be busy for the next few days, weeks, maybe even months enjoying all of this awesome manga. And I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys own any of this manga? Enjoy any of this manga? And what did your biggest manga haul look like? And I really, really, really want to thank you guys for all of the awesome recommendations of which I I've made a list, you know, it's gonna take me quite a bit of time to get onto some of these other series that you guys recommended, but regardless, thank you for that, and thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. It's time to do some reading.